Something I love about EverQuest, and if you're watching this, I gotta assume you feel the same, is the amount of care and passion that was put into the game, which is evident in the lore and the easter eggs and the attention to detail, and I also love the sandbox nature of the game that allows you to make your own fun. And I thought it'd be fun to explore the paintings found throughout Norath. In most circumstances, every painting in EQ is unique and really found in only one spot in the game, like this one in Mistmore, but what's interesting to me is their meaning. Do they have any kind of meaning? Are they inside jokes to the devs? Do they have any lore behind them? I don't know. Let the art begin. I'm gonna start off with the more well-known bar paintings. These appear to just be jokes based off the names of the taverns they're found in. You know, like the dogs playing poker or whatever. There's Tassel's Bar in North Freeport, and yeah, those appear to be Tassel's playing poker. Everyone knows Crow's Tavern in North Kinos. <laughs> There's three taverns in High Pass Hold, and yes, it's High Pass Hold. Not High Hold Pass or High Hold Keep. Why do people say that? See? It's right there. What's wrong with all of you? You got Tigers playing cards at the Tiger's Roar, Roosters at the Golden Rooster, and Pine Trees playing at the Lumberyard. First place goes to Lumberyards. Lion's Mane Inn and the Fish's Ale in South Kinos, Slug's Tavern in Nirak, now tied for first with the Pine Trees, and there's the Blind Fish in the Nirak Commons. All right, those are out of the way. Let's look at some of the more unique paintings and head back to High Pass. In Green Bane's Weapons, you'll find an awesome painting of a dragon breathing fire. Fire breathing brain. No need for drama. Just assemble 30 people and come stare at this wall. This is probably just generic fantasy painting, but hey, maybe it's a reference to The Hobbit. Maybe that dragon is that dragon. Think about it. Makes perfect sense. Over in this Taylor Hyde shop, does it have a name? I don't remember. There's this picture right here, and I have no idea what it is. Do you? If you want to guess, let me know. I'm going to say it's a building. No, it looks like a boat. You gotta love the 640 by 480 compressed screenshot resolution that's been smushed down into this rectangle. It makes you ask questions. There's also some paintings next door in High Keep, like this one. A picture of High Keep. Why turn left, walk 50 paces, and look at High Keep when you can just stare at this beautiful image? It's the first best thing to see in High Keep in real. But in the next room, you got this sorceress with the lightning staff riding a giant snake. It's the most metal thing I've ever seen. I actually spent a silly amount of time researching this and trying to see if it's a reference to anything, and I found nothing, which is a common theme of this video. Okay, this isn't a painting, but it's art on a wall, so close enough. There's a giant carving in the cliffs in East Krana, and it's always interested me. Who is that? I would assume it's a goddess of sorts, but looking through my stupid book proves that none of the gods look like her. So who is she? Maybe someone with crazy EQ lore could say, but that's not me. And speaking of things on walls, there's a xenomorph skeleton in Blackboro. Which is kind of amazing, but weird, right? Aliens in EverQuest? That's simply deranged. Science fiction in my fantasy game? What kind of heinous lunatic would even put aliens in EverQuest? One of the more interesting pictures of North is found in Felwith at Beyond Fadark. When you step inside, you see all these maps of continents because this is like an adventure store, and you're like, oh, I recognize these. There's Antonica, and Fadark, and that one, and that? What? What is that? Is that Velius? Is that Velius? How do people say it? Okay, so did they know about Velius in Classic, or did they add that in later, like that Kunark sign at the docks? I can't imagine that those were there during Classic. Maybe they just assumed they'd make an icy continent expansion at some point, or they had, you know, all the lore figured out. There's a white continent on those Kunark dragon spheres, right? What's that mean? I, I guess they knew? I don't I... Whatever the case, what an interesting thing this is. Inside the Fool's Gold Tavern in Riverville, there's a picture of the Kino's Tax Collection Building. Why is it there? The picture was taken at some impossible angle, which is odd. And I don't know anything about the tax collection quest, and I've never done any quest in Rivervale. And again, after doing some research, I found no connections. You know, I'm starting to think these pictures are just random nonsense. But it's just such a specific building. I guess we'll never know. In the depths of Najina, we have this screenshot painting of Najina. Isn't it beautiful? So lifelike. It almost makes you forget about the grisly crimes happening in the next room.
Might I have some copper, please? And let's not forget the goblins. They make art too. This painting in Runny Eye is amazing. I love the green tier. Good job, goblins. I also love this menu down on the bottom floor. Eat it. Eat it. I feel like every menu in the world should have that written on it. In Celestic's Eye, there's some perplexing images smeared on the walls. I don't know much about Goblin EQ lore, but it seems strange that there's so many gods and symbols on their walls. <laughs> there's Brel, Serilis, and Inorok, wherever you say these. And those two actually make sense because they're evil and they're underground, right? But what about all of these that are found on that one thing? Again, this probably means something, and I don't know what it is. But there is another painting deep in Soleil that not many people know about. It's a hidden secret map to Lord Nagafin. For all you raiders out there, now you can be the first to engage main looter, main assist, tank this dragon. Go get your DKP, it'll be easy. Whether you're in Class R or Class C, set up your Ranger Greater Healing Mutation, root KEI, now you can be the top guild. Hellas is home to some of the most hideous paintings in the game. There's this thing in the Golden Torque. I want to say it's a dog. Over on Doc's Cigar, there's a whatever this is. The Bound Mermaid? Okay, whatever. There's other paintings throughout the game that I'm sure I missed, but you get the gist of it. They're just a neat little touch added to the game to make it feel more like a world. And maybe they have a hidden meaning to them, and maybe they don't. I like to think that all of the weird little things found in EverQuest had some kind of idea or meaning behind them at some point. Like the chess boards. And these strange Egyptian beetles. Or this thing in Akanon. When you click it, it turns, and it makes a door sound? Why does it do that? Well, I've been talking about EQ paintings for- Insert time here. Why didn't anyone stop me? This was fun, sort of, and hey, maybe I'll make another video. I don't know what it'd be about. Druid reens? <laughs> How come some work, and some don't? Why are some just a single pole? How about armor colors, and the various colors that armor can be. I could do a video about jumping off of stuff, message boards, everyone's favorite completely obsolete form of non-working in-game communication. Thanks for watching. I apologize.